Hello and welcome to my 23rd tutorial. In this C++ tutorial we will cover something very interesting in C++ and those are STL or standard template library. Uh, particularly in this video we will cover uh, how to create a template uh, class and uh, how to use uh, a vector library which is a part of the standard template library in C++. So let's first try to understand what are template classes. So um, template classes are very interesting uh, in sense that they can have um, multiple types. So you m you may have seen already, uh, for example, how to create some class. Um, it was, for example, like this class, and then this kind of arrows and some type in the middle, and then the name of the object you want to create. So uh, let's create a simple class that will sum any type of numbers. So you, it it will get um, more sensible in a few in a few uh, seconds. So let's start creating a class. So we first write template, and then we write uh, then we write um, class, and we write the type. Let's write t. So uh, we declare a template for a class that will have uh, some type t. And then we create our class. Our class will do uh, the sum of two numbers. So let's call the class like this. Sorry. Um, let's call it like this. And we will have a private variable which will store the sum of two numbers. And that variable will be uh, type of t. So we say t. And then we write value, for example. And this is a private variable, t. And now let's define our public section and define our constructor for this class. And the constructor will have two parameters, also type t, so first, and for example, second parameter. When you open the, uh, open the constructor, we will um, sum the, the first and second into the value. So as you can see, the data type is t, and we sum first and second. Now we need to display the sum. In order to do that, let's create a result function. So uh, it will re uh, return the type um, t, for example, you will see in a minute how we use this class. And uh, let's call it result. And it will, it will be in one line. It can return the value like this. Okay, so how to use this is fairly simple. So we want to use this, our sum, sum class. We define the class sum and now we need to open the arrows and as you can see uh, IntelliSense shows us type name so for example we want to sum two integer numbers so we say int and then we call our our object something like for example sum one and three and four okay um, now we can print the where uh, the result of the um, sum so we print sum one result and let's print a new line. And when we run this program, you can see that the result is five. It's pretty simple. So why 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 didn't I write int here? Uh, okay, so this is the, the cool part. So if we create another object, and let's say float here, and call it sum2, we can do this, 1.2, for example, 5.2. And now when we print sum2 result, you can see that the result is 6.4, but we used another class. So as you can see, we used the, the, the same class, but with, an, with different data type. Of course, we could, uh, we could have written instead of t, for example, float or something like that. But uh, the idea is to have a class that's generic and that can accept any type. Of course, you can also have multiple types passed to the template class. For example, we can have class, uh, we can have parameter m. And now you, sh you could write something m value 2, for example, and then use it somewhere else in the class, in other functions. Uh, also, you can add 
more parameters in same manner like this and then you can use that inside your class of course this is very flexible and all the standard template library or stl uh, you probably heard of it um, it uses this principle so there's a special special vector uh, library that we can use it's pretty neat it allows us to have essentially dynamically sized arrays without knowing um, anything about uh, for example pointers or references we don't need to worry about that everything will be handled by this library so we should include the vector up here and let's get rid of this template class as we don't need it anymore and we can define now our vector so we say vector and we need to say, uh, say the type name so let's say the type name is int and call it vector1 and now the vector1 is essentially like an array but it's dynamically sized uh, based on the need so we can add elements to the vector so we say vector1 dot push back and we push the value at the end of the array so we can push for example one and then we can sorry uh, we can push oh sorry not pop back we can push for example two and now we can print those values so let's create a for loop that will print and we can say vector one dot um, size sorry I plus plus and let's print the values so we can do use this special function of vector that's called at and this gets the element at specific index so we will say i here as we have a for loop and end line now when we run our program you can see that one and two are printed of course we can also push more elements for example let's push five here or create a simple program that will accept the input 152 as you can see in the same arrangement and also there are other other things um, for example functions for um, removing elements uh, for uh, popping the elements from the back and things like that the great thing also about vectors is that you can for example um, for example erase all elements from the vector so by doing vector one dot clear we will clear all the elements and when we run the program nothing will be printed as the size is zero and all elements are out of the vector and let's create a simple program that will for example input elements so let's say insert element uh, minus one to uh, cancel and we can essentially input the integer and let's clear this up here and let's say we have a temp which will be used to store the current element that we insert and we will just push the element until minus one so we check first if temp is not equal to minus one and if it's not equal to minus one we push it to the vector so vector one push back and we push the temp so the user can enter elements until he enters minus one after that we will print and um, sorry we will print and this is not uh, a great uh, I, i've written it in the for loop instead like this so while uh, temp let's 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 use a do while so do this while temp is not equal to minus one so we will essentially essentially input the element push it back and um, if it's not equal to minus one 
we will do and we will do this also this will incorporate that uh, minus one will be pushed as the last element so we can uh, I, will, I will show you what this program will print out now it will also include minus one but we can fix this so let's uh, print one vector one um, you can also use uh, the um, these uh, brackets instead of at for printing the current element it's the same it just may be handier if you want to reference it like an array and let's run our program now so insert an element minus one to cancel so let's insert one five three two minus one oh sorry and yeah, try just just close the program so we didn't see the output let's write it a few times and run the program again so one five two four minus one and you can see one five two four minus one so we have minus one here but in order to exclude it we can use vector one dot pop back and this will ex exclude our element it will pop it just from the stack so one two three five two minus one and as you can see only one two three five and two are sh shown minus one is removed from the end of the um, end of the vector so there are a lot of other functions for the vectors also but those are the um, some of the functions that i wanted to show you for more info i will provide a link in the description for other functions and of course if you if you need more info about this and you want me to make another follow-up video you can comment in the comments so we will use this vector in in future tutorials and we will use other features of it so stay tuned and thanks for watching and see you in the next video please subscribe